When we do multi-pass cylindrical OD grinding, we get chatter. We keep dropping our plunge speeds, but we can't get rid of it. What can we do? One of the easiest ways to reduce chatter in cylindrical grinding is to play around with your workpiece RPM. In multi-pass operations, you can work wonders just by mixing it up a little bit in terms of your workpiece RPM. Let's take a look at an OD cylindrical grinding operation. Here we have the workpiece and we have the wheel. Hopefully your wheel is bigger than your workpiece, but in this case we're just going to use that for demonstration purposes. Now, during grinding, the wheel piece is going to bounce up and down because it's not perfectly stiff. It's going to bounce up and down at its natural frequency, which is going to depend on the stiffness of the workhead and the wheel piece. So that's going to be fixed. So as that wheel bounces up and down and the workpiece spins, you're going to get a series of waves on the workpiece. So you take the first pass, you get a series of waves. Now, let's say you take that first pass at 60 RPM. Then you go back and you do pass number two. We do pass number two, our wheel is bouncing up and down at that same speed. Our workpiece is spinning at the same speed. So now those waves, or those peaks and valleys, are going to be accentuated. So they're going to go deeper. The wheel is going to ride up and ride down at the same speed, and that chatter, or those chatter marks, are going to get worse and they're going to get deeper. Then if we take a third pass at the same workpiece RPM, Boom, once again, up and down, up and down at the same speed. We're hitting the peaks in the same point. We're hitting the valleys in the same point. Next thing you know, we have a wheel piece with a lot of chatter. So, we'll end up with something that looks like this. There's a very easy solution to this. If we take the work first pass at 60 RPM, well, let's take the second pass at 70 RPM. That wheel is going to be bouncing up and down at the same speed, but instead of hitting in the peaks and valleys, it's going to hit at a peak, it's going to hit at a valley, it's going to hit in the middle of a peak, it's going to hit in between, and it's going to sort of obliterate itself. So let's say we take the first pass at 60 RPM, the second pass at 70 RPM, the next one at 50 RPM, something along those lines. At the end, we've sort of obliterated all those waves, and we end up with something that looks like this. So what speed should we choose? There's nothing magical about it. A little bit higher, a little bit lower, but we don't want to be, let's say, double. Because if we double it, or if we half it, we're still going to be hitting at those peaks and valleys, maybe at twice the frequency or half the frequency. So we want to increase it by 10%. 20%, 15%, decrease it by the same, but we don't want to double it and we don't want to half it. And this is an extremely easy way, without increasing your cycle time, without using a new wheel, without doing anything, of basically reducing or eliminating your chatter problem.